What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Picking Fruits channel. Today I have an update video for part two, choosing mycelium from germinated multi-spore colonies. Today you are who you are today. See? You're still me, but you're a newer version. Alright guys, so I have a little update for you. All of these plates here are grown out plates from our transfers that we made back in our video part two of how to grow mushroom series. So I will link it up top so you can go back and see it if you haven't already. I'm going to be showing you these plates with a little bit of progress report on them and they are really in no particular order. They're just random and the way that I got them out of the bag. Uh, so here we have our Ecuador and as you can see it has fully colonized the plate looking very nice and fluffy. Still a lot of work to be done on this one but showing very promising growth. Ecuador. Next we have our GJ squat and as you can see here it has some very dense growth right near the transfer point uh, but I don't know if the camera can pick it up but it has already fully colonized the whole plate so the whole plate is overrun with the mycelium but the mycelium is so light that you can't really see it. Up next we have our white rabbit as you can see here this sample is kicking ass taking off really quickly colonizing a lot of the plate with very very thick growth Tom and toast mycelium still very fluffy and cottony but you can start you can start to see some of the sectoring happening here where the mycelium is starting to uh, show aggressiveness and uh, the more competitive uh, aggressive mycelium is going to take hold of the mycelium first and as you can see that edge here has started to outrun and outperform the rest of the plate. Up next we have our dancing tiger and I don't know if the camera can pick this up but you can see the various rings around the mycelium showing us that this is performing very nicely having uniform growth all along the edges and you might be able to tell the rings here will indicate temperature changes or temperature fluctuations where the mycelium has stopped growing accelerated growth and slowed down growth multiple times throughout the course of this plate's life. Up next we have our albino BMR you can see very beautiful growth, some thick colonies are forming, and then we have some uh, spots here to the top right, left side, bottom left side, and then down at the 6 o'clock position where these satellite colonies are starting to form and forming some very, very uh, dense growth where it looks like some of the hyphae has made it and is starting to produce secondary strands of mycelium. Okay, up next we have this Roatan Orduras. These colonies are going crazy, very nice growth, not uniform. In the slightest but we can see a lot of tomatoes and then we're starting to see some of the or rhizomorphic growth up next we have our PE specimen here you can see it's doing all kinds of crazy things this happens to be the plate where I placed two transfers from two different colonies to see if they would mate uh, but it does not look like they've made it successfully but it also appears that these two transfers happen to have more than one colony as you can see the separations and the different growth rates and different patterns and as you can see it looks like different colonies have started to form within all right guys thank you for joining us today i appreciate your viewership i want to thank each and every one of you for coming by and watching this and i also want to give a special shout out to all of the new people that have recently subscribed stay tuned and we will keep up with this awesome content for you guys thank you